Hello, welcome back to another exciting episode. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, don't forget if you could please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash WrestleMania. We'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. We really like seeing those numbers go up. And we appreciate everyone who has subscribed in the past, so thank you very much. Now without further ado, on with the video. On Grace Avenue in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, um, just north of Lebanon City, your finest sign for John Eisenhower Milk Bottles. Uh, that's the website and the phone number down below. Right after this sign, if you look up, something very interesting. We have a National Wildlife Refuge, a very small one, that in the back you see something very, very special. You see a little mini statue of the Lady of Liberty. Very beautiful. If you do decide to come here, please stay off to the side of the road. Be respectful, because violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Oh yeah. She knows what I'm talking about. Some of the other things you'll find along central Pennsylvania roadways are miniature donkeys. Now these guys, um, again they are the miniature version, and the owner of these says he has about 14 of them, and has always liked miniature donkeys, the way they looked, and they have a lot of personality, which I do believe. So. Again, keep your eye out for different things in central Pennsylvania, and you come across stuff like this. Well, hi, fellas. What you guys doing? Huh? What you doing over there? Yeah. Just kind of hanging around? Eating some grass? Miniature donkeys. Yep. Taking a leak. You guys are trying to make me out to be an ass, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I had to say it. I just had to say it. Oh, boy. oh no, they're stampeding. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, fellas. Well, you have a good day. Thank you for putting up with me. Bye guys. Have a good one. Here we find Jonestown, Pennsylvania, formerly known as Williamsburg. It's renamed for the founder, William Jones. See what they did there? Williamsburg for William, but uh, changed it to Jonestown for Mr. Jones. It was founded in 1761. It's one of those quaint little towns. Kind of, you know, has a one pizza place and a few little restaurants that can serve your needs when you need it. As with many small towns, they have, of course, many different churches that were built from the 1700s on up. And of course, as is tradition of towns of that era, you have multiple bars and pubs. And of course you come across some really interesting refurbishments like what I'm sure was the old fire station now 
turn it into a dance studio. In fact, you can still see the old uh, fire bell, fire whistle up there. And of course, in the old square, you still have a lot of businesses and homes that you can just imagine what they used to be. Probably some general stores. There's a building right there that has POS of A uh, building, so I'm not quite sure what that is. If you know what POS of A stands for, um, go ahead and comment below. There's a closer shot of it. So if you could tell me what that means, I'd really appreciate it. In fact, in this town, there still is a little general store called Crawls. We'll go in there and check it out and see what they have. I'm assuming it's just a little pickup store, but we'll see. Okay, I wasn't allowed to film inside. Um, but yeah, it's just a little pickup store. It has a deli counter and a like a cheese counter. You know, just a few selections, but enough to get you by if you need to. Now this town, it's well if you know where Lancaster, Pennsylvania is, it's just north of that. Uh, if you get to Lebanon, Pennsylvania is just north of that yet. And then, this is just south of uh, Route 22. In fact, Jonestown Road used to go directly through this town. Um, however, they moved Route 22 to the north, so this kind of became a little bit of a sleepy town. And of course, they put the interstate, um, Interstate 81 and 78, just uh, about a mile north of Route 22 as well, so not a whole lot of heavy traffic. In fact, this is the heaviest traffic we have now because at the time I'm here, the schools are letting out. There is an elementary school here. And of course, you can just imagine right across the street there at the laundromat. You can just imagine some horse and buggies or some old time cars just sitting around there when this was Route 22, which is, I guess Jonestown would be about halfway between Harrisburg and Rudding, Pennsylvania, where the Rudding Railroad was. So it probably was a pretty happening place at one time. So I would imagine that place was probably a hotel where the laundromat is now. That's what I like about these old towns. You can just imagine how things were in the 1700s, 1800s, early 1900s. Kind of neat, they have their own barber shop and salon. You don't see the, uh, the barber shop poles like that too much anymore. It's kind of neat. And of course you have some of the older buildings here that are kept up quite nicely. It's kind of neat they even have their own chiropractor right here on the square. And what I really like is right over here, whoops, can't find it now. But yeah, right over there, you see um, right over between the two buildings, they have this little half alleyway building. It's kind of cool that they still have those around. You see those in a lot of bigger cities, but not too much in uh, smaller uh, towns like this. I just kind of think it's kind of cool architecturally that they have one of those here. I ran into one of the locals and he told me that that building there that has the POS on it, um, he's not exactly sure what the letters stand for, but that used to be the post office at one time. And at the bottom of that building, I'll show you a little inscription. It does say about a patriotic um, devotion in the essence of sentiment and loyalty to God and to man. So this is the uh, Patriotism Education Fraternity. 
So not quite sure what that is, but this was put in after the POS of A uh, sign up front. So again, if anybody has any Columbo-like skills, go ahead and comment below and tell me what this is about. Now also in Jonestown, there's a trail that connects to the Swatera Creek walking trail. And they have this little, I guess, diagram, diaphragm, dia, dia, I don't know what it is. But this little thing you can roll around. Talks about the birds you might be able to see, the fish that'll be in the creek, any reptiles you could possibly come across. Of course, any mammals, vegetation. And of course, they have the map of the whole Swatera Creek water trail that if you want to follow that, you can. Nice area to walk around in and have a little picnic. Really neat shot of an old bridge here in Jonestown. Right along the Swatera Creek. Looks like they have a little boat dock here as well. Right underneath that bridge. Do a little swimming in the summer. Some tubing, canoeing, kayaking, exploring. I would have loved this as a kid. Well, I'd love it now. Of course, there are some boat dock rules you do have to abide by. And this park itself is open from dawn to dusk. Nice, beautiful, peaceful area. Yeah, this is a kind of really neat stuff that I like to see. Back roads off the beaten path. Well, not completely off the beaten path, but close enough. And you miss really neat things like this. Some good small town restaurants, good small town atmosphere, nice people. Jonestown, Pennsylvania, if you're anywhere near here, drop by. You'll be glad you did.